So essentially I'm going to teach you how to make all of that and it's just going to be using the media player which is very good for soundtracks and uh, let's just get started immediately. So in our new empty project we're going to go to our Gradle file and inside here we're going to add the implementation for material and I'll post a link in the description. And we're going to click on sync and right after that we're going to go and create a few drawable vector files. And this is essentially just the play, the stop, and the pause button. And I changed it all to white to make things a lot easier and so I wouldn't have to edit it later. But yeah, essentially just go ahead and create three of them. One for stop, one for pause, one for play, and uh, name it to whatever you like. I like just naming icons, icon stop, icon play arrow. And for uh, the pause I accidentally left in the black 2040p so it's unnecessarily long, but uh, yeah. Then you want to go and find an image and import it to your drawable just by dragging it there. I just had this default iTunes picture. Then we're gonna click on res and we're gonna to go to Android uh, resource directory and we're gonna type in raw. And here's where we, where we can uh, drag in our media player, uh, our media file. And once you've dragged it in, we can then go to our main activity XML. And uh, I just copy and pasted my uh, previous XML because it's unnecessarily long to type in. But let's get started by making a relative layout, then I added a linear layout to hold everything together. And of course, just pay attention to the IDs, such as ID seek bar, ID LL wrapper, which just stands for a linear layout wrapper. Then I put a few floating action buttons. So I just named one fab play, fab pause, fab stop. And uh, you can mess around in XML to make whatever kind of layout you like, or you can copy this. But uh, yeah, it's not my strong point to talk about the XML for too long. So uh, let's go straight to our main activity. And finally we can work with the real code. So first we're going to start by typing private var mp is a media player and we're going to equal it to null. And then we're going to do private var current song which is going to be a mutable list of. And these are just going to be your IDs for the songs. I just put a mutable list so you can see in the future that you can actually change the song. Now we're going to write a method that hasn't been created yet. It's going to be called control sound with the current song at the index of zero. And here we're going to type it in, private function control sound with an ID assigned to int. I'm going to write an on click listener for our fab play button, which is going to say if MP is null, we're going to create a media player. And the context will be this and the ID will be the song ID from your raw file. And then we're just going to log. These are just special logs I put in so I can refer to them in the near future. So I wrote log main activity and I put an ID and just wrote audio session ID. Then we're gonna write another method that hasn't been created yet. We'll create it much later. It's called initially, initialize seek bar. But remember to call MP uh, nullable start at the bottom of this because that's how you actually start your soundtrack. And another log that can tell you like how long the song is. But then we're gonna create another uh, floating action button for the pause and we're going to set another on-click listener and if MP is not null we're going to say pause otherwise the program likes to crash. Then we're going to add another log and this is going to say paused at the current position always good to have for later in case you want to create an event and then finally we're going to create the stop button set on-click listener which is going to say if the media player is not null we can stop it and then we have to reset it and we will release it so it doesn't take any more unnecessary uh, memory and then set it to null of course. And all of that is just to uh, prevent the null pointer reference. But immediately after, we're going to create our seekbar.set on seekbar change listener. We're going to create an object which says seekbar on seekbar change listener, which will require you to implement a few methods. And we're only going to look at on progress change, which is going to say if from user is true, we're going to write mp seek to progress. And that's just saying if the user has initiated the touch, you can seek to the progress. And right down here, we're going to write another function, which is our initialization of the seekbar. We're going to write seekbar.max is going to equal to media player, which is not null, uh, total duration. And we're going to make a handler event, which updates it every second. It's going to be handler.postdelayed object, and it's going to be a runnable. And inside here, we're going to override the run function, take away this to do, and write seekbar.progress equals media player to the current position. And then we're going to write handler.postdelayed with the context of this and delayed by one second each time. And we're going to write, uh, I forgot to add the try block and add a catch because I kept on having an exception here every time it went null. So I just put uh, once it goes null, we, see, we set the seek bar to uh, zero as the progress. And of course, at the bottom here, you need to write a delay of zero milliseconds. And after all of that mess, you should be able to actually create your media player. And here it is.
But uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this tutorial helped. And if there's any other videos you'd like me to create, uh, just let me know in the comment section and I'll try to make it.